Hi guys, it's Sammy here. I'm Catherine. And we are educators at the Perot Museum of Nature and Science. And hopefully you all have been following along with our meteorology experiments today. Uh, meteorology, just a refresher, is the study of the atmosphere. So all things weather. In our last video, we talked about pressure and what happens in the atmosphere when there's high pressure or low pressure. Remember, low pressure, clouds can grow big and tall and sometimes even precipitate or evolve into a thunderstorm or something more extreme. Sometimes we have high pressure and that's where we're gonna experience our sunny, clear days outside. Not so not, not a cloud in the sky, exactly. Now the cool thing about pressure is that with just some simple tools at home, you guys can actually create your own tool to uh, respond to pressure changes in the atmosphere, which we call a barometer. And that's what we actually have here today. And Catherine's gonna walk you through how to make one at home. To make your own barometer, you'll need some common items that you can find around your house. To start off, we're gonna set the glass jar on a flat surface. Next, cut the neck off of the balloon so that you have a nice round part left over. Stretch the balloon so that it fits over the mouth of the jar nice and tight. The tighter, the better. Use a rubber band to keep the balloon firmly in place over the mouth of the jar. Next, attach a straw to the top of the jar so that it is right across the top. Use a piece of tape to secure it into place. Now, to use our paper clip, we'll unwind it and stick it into the open end of the straw. This will help us get a more precise reading on our barometer. To make the backdrop, we're gonna fold the piece of paper so that the jar will end up sitting on the bottom of the folded part. You'll need to get a nice even measurement of where the paper clip is pointing to on the paper, make a little mark for today's reading. I'm making my barometer on a pretty cloudy day here in Dallas, so I know that today's pressure is on the lower side. The paperclip point will change height depending on the atmospheric pressure. When air pressure outside of the jar is lower, the balloon is pushed out and the needle will point down, indicating low pressure. When air pressure outside of the jar is higher, the balloon is gonna be pushed inwards and the needle is gonna be pushed up, indicating high pressure. As the weather will continue to change in the coming days, I'll be sure to keep adding more tick marks above and below to help build out my low and high pressure scale on my barometer. We had an awesome time learning all about meteorology and what meteorology is. It's the study of the atmosphere, what happens in that atmosphere when ch temperature changes, and also how clouds form the water cycle. There's a lot to learn as meteorologists. Now, I like to think of meteorologists as having two main jobs. They're there to predict the weather and also to protect people and all of our infrastructure. So we hope you guys followed along with all of our experiments today, and we encourage you to look outside and observe the weather, observe the changes in our atmosphere. Let us know what type of weather you're experiencing and maybe why you're experiencing that weather. We'd love to hear from you. So hashtag Perot Museum, and we can't wait to do more experiments with you guys later. Bye.